don't know who who could you really trust at this time like I'm I'm so over it. I'm I'm so over it. What's up and what's good everybody? It's your girl Abby Rose and I am back with another video. Um I know guys, I haven't been uploading as much. It's because I haven't really gotten any good ideas to put up on YouTube. So if you guys have any like good ideas that I should do for my channel, please hit me up and let me know. Because I have been getting brain farts. I don't even know what to put on YouTube anymore. Like, <sighs> I don't know. But what I do have for you guys is a story time is coming up. That's what I want to let you guys know. I am going to be doing a story time and I'm kind of scared because story time is crazy. So I'm going to definitely film that one very soon and I'm going to let you guys know when I'm going to be posting it. But yeah, let's just get right into this video. This video today is going to be about how I feel about YouTube couples, you know? The first YouTube couple that I ever watched on YouTube had to be Diara and Ken. And to this day, those are my favorite YouTubers and I love them. Like, oh my gosh, I wish I could meet them. But I did not go to their little tour meet and greet when they had it here in New York. But I wish I could meet them like down the road in the future. But those are my favorite YouTube couples. But what? who else do I watch? Okay, so I watch Yara and Ken. I watch um, Eva and Billy, Beam Squad. I watch I just started watching um Dami and Ronell. All these YouTubers I will definitely like link below if you guys want to see them. Dami and Ronell, I love them. Like, oh my gosh, those are my peoples. Who else? I used to watch DB Nation, but I don't watch them no more because you guys already know. I used to watch Nate Nate and Ashley before they broke up. I used to watch oh I watch Chris and Queen, definitely. I watch Chris and Queen all the time. But let's just get into the first rule about YouTube couples that I don't like. Fake pranks, okay? Now you guys know, fake pranks have been going around for a while now. And it's like giving, getting me skeptical about which couples you should believe, you know? Because I'm watching some people's pranks and they look real. But then there's some people's pranks that you're just like, how could that happen? Like, if they're in the same room. That makes no sense. But... Honestly, I feel like it's not fair to the viewer to watch somebody and you're giving them a good laugh and it's fake, you know? It's not fair. And sometimes you could point it out if it's fake, but sometimes you can't and that's really just not fair to us. But you know what? Some people can give good content and that's where people start doing stuff for money. You know, people just be doing YouTube for money and it's not fair. It's really not. Second rule to YouTube couples and watching them. If they really are a couple, because there are some couples that say they're a couple, but they're really friends and they're only doing this for YouTube, like just doing it for the money and they're pretending to be boyfriend and girlfriend. Like, I'm not even going to say that this is not true, but I feel that Nate and Ashley weren't really like a real, real couple. I feel like they got together and they had a plan to do YouTube. I'm not saying that this is real. I'm just saying from my own understanding. Because they broke up and they literally like just left each other. Like they didn't even work things out. They've been together for two years. Nate moved to what? Canada? Ashley moved back to Los Angeles. Like it doesn't make any sense if you're with somebody for two years. Y'all have a whole house together. Y'all planning a whole life together. And y'all just break up because of an argument. Y'all been arguing for two months. Like come on. Obviously, people stop watching y'all and y'all just wanted to separate. But, yeah, some couples do um, make a fake relationship just for YouTube and that's not okay at all. Next rule about watching YouTube couples to be careful about is their social media, okay? If they post social media and they're like, we're doing, um, we're selling iPhones, we're selling this, do not... Don't do it. It's most likely a scam. They're not going to send you nothing. But yeah, don't do it. Chris and Queen, I don't know if you guys know, but before they started really popping on YouTube, they used to scam people, their followers on Instagram, and Chris used to sell sell iPhones. And then I heard that he, ne he, st he, never, um, he never gave them the iPhone. So 
if you see a couple and they're your favorite YouTube couple and they selling things on Instagram, selling things on their Snapchat, don't take it. If it's a giveaway, that's different. But if they're selling things, do not take it. Girl, come on. Don't take it. That's mad fake. Also, what I don't really like about YouTube couples is that never like they all do the same thing. If you go to Chris and Queen's um channel they're doing the same thing as what they and joe they and joe's doing the same thing that beam squad is doing like if a gummy challenge is going around everybody and their mother want to do the gummy challenge like why don't y'all just come up with different challenges on your own or make your own content like the pranks are all the same what's the point of watching different youtube couples doing the same thing when i could just watch one doing everything you know like I don't like watching that much YouTube couples because they all do the same thing. It's always the same pranks. It's always the same challenges. It's always the same Q&As. It's the same questions. Like, come up with different stuff. That's why, like, I will never introduce my outside life to YouTube and, like, bring in a boyfriend or bring in my best friend. Because what are we really going to do on YouTube? It's going to be the same challenges. That's why I'm only, like, that's, that's why I only like being, like, a singular YouTuber. I don't want to bring in nobody else. I might do, like, some features with, like, my friends and my family. But I'm not bringing no boyfriend up in here. I'm not bringing nobody up in here because then you guys would expect me to be a couple channel. And I really don't want to be in, a, in the couple channel range, if you guys understand. Because... You can't trust everybody you really can't once they get big especially when those youtuber those youtube couples get big their heads start gassing up and they swear they are famous they swear they're doing all this stuff they swear they're getting money they swear like no people just like to watch you okay please but yeah that's my intake on youtube couples i just want to get it out there because i've been watching a lot of youtube couples lately and i just wanted to bring my opinion out there if any of the YouTube couples is watching me, y'all just got to start doing some different stuff. Because I'm tired of the gummy versus real food challenge. I'm tired of the same challenges. Like, change it up. Change it up, please. Like, oh my gosh. I'm off this, though. Don't forget to follow my social media. It's your time to be nosy. Here it is right here. Thank you guys so much for watching i'm trying to make it to 5k so once i make it to 5k i'm gonna do a special for you guys and also in august i am trying to do a abby all august so i will be doing videos every day in august so just get ready for that abby all august is coming soon like i can't wait to be doing videos every day or august like especially since august i am going on vacation so i will be vlogging all of that oh my gosh i can't wait thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye